Hello, dear all, and welcome to the video that is tablet description specification and the best practices. Myself, Mr. Vijay Agrawal, and I have more more than a decade of experience in formulation R&D. So I thought to share the knowledge gained uh, during this tenure with the students and pharma professionals. to increase their increase and improve their understanding about the common terminologies uh, in day to day and routine uh, formulation r&d activities so welcome and let's start with the video uh, it is it will be a very informative video and these are the small things which we don't um, uh, look upon to understand so i thought uh, to share my understanding uh, with the with you people all the information i have gathered uh, from the internet and i have uh, put my experience and uh, expertise whatever i have learned so let's start see tablet description is the dis is the appearance how the tablet appears to you and there is Uh, uh no specific guideline for this so i am making the video you can see the picture here tablet description description of the tablet is a part of coa of the product it is a part of label eil and it is also included in house supplied section and sometimes some of the manufacturers include the tablet picture on their carton or bottle label see as i have mentioned there is no specific guideline for the tablet description but uh, ichq q6 gives sir information about the description so what is to be included in the tablet description a qualitative description of the doses form should provided should be provided example size shape and color if any of these characteristics change during manufacture or storage these uh, changes should be investigated and appropriate action to be taken the appearance uh, the acceptance criteria should include the final acceptable appearance that means the final finished product tablet description we have to give if color changes during storage a quantitative procedure may be appropriate so uh, this means we have to include the size shape color any scoring information is there any uh, uh, embossing uh, any debossing imprinting uh, if it is there we have to include then appearance size score configuration are the physical quality attributes of the drug product and these attributes are the part of uh, qtpp you people may be uh, knowing about the qtpp and the pharma students uh, uh, may or may not be knowing but qtpp that is a quality uh, target product profile okay so tablet description is a part of that qtpp uh, see these examples i have taken from internet uh, to make you understand example 1 each modified capsule shape tablet in beach to mottled beach color is divorced with rx 3341 on one side you can see in the picture uh, they have included the color uh, shape and debossing example 2 the tablet is purple capsule shape uh, 22 mm in length film coated and debossed with cm on one side and 6 on the other side so the length and dimensions uh, are included here this type of uh, uh, description you will find in the uh, european product label mainly then example 3 red capsule shape flat face beveled edge tablets debossed with 682 on one side and ap on the other side so here uh, the flat flat shape uh, flat face is included and beveled edge is uh, included see i am going to make a uh, another uh, uh, video with detailed understanding of the 
tablet to links so i will cover this topic there but for now a flat face means uh, the tablet is flat on the surface and for this tablet they have used a flat face uh, beveled edge tooling then example 4 oblong squared white tablets deposed with wpi on one side and 3968 on the other side here in the description shape scoring color and deposing is included then let's move to the example 5 capsule a white capsule shaped tablet deposed with adg on the trisected side and 750 on the bisected side so here two break lines are there on one side of the tablet and single break line is there on the other side of the tablet then example six pitch mottled capsule shaped tablets deposed seven one one three on one side and scored on the other side with deposed 93 on one side of the score so here uh, they have included the mottled color pitch color the mottling uh, might be due to the composition or color of the api or uh, uh, if there is any colored excipient or api is used that gives the mottling so that mottling is used then on one side there is a break line and on the other side there is no break line then on one side 7113 is the embossing uh, and 93 on the other side see whenever uh, the letters are on the tablet these are always the deposed tablets that i'm going to discuss later so sometimes uh, some manufacturers uh, do the imprinting instead of the uh, embossing generally uh, printing of the tablet is done uh, when there is a functional coat applied to the tablet like alza 18 uh, alza 36 alza 27 alza 54 these are the osmotic tablets and these have coating with the cellulose acetate palette that's why embossing they have not done because it may impact the coating integrity and coating uniform so here they have included the uh, strength uh, in the description the 18 mg tablets are yellow and imprinted with alza 18 the 27 mg tablets are gray and imprinted with alza 27 so in this uh, they are talking mainly about the color and imprinting so the different strengths of the same product are differentiated with the color and imprinting then example 8 blue and white oval shaped two layer tablets of approximately 14 mm length engraved with the product code a1 and the company logo on the white layer so this is the type of multi-layer tablets where they have included the uh, layer specific layer specific embossing and colors then coming to the tablet description the best practices here uh, mainly if you see the best practices means what precautions or what uh, what are the things that should be taken into consideration while while you are writing a tablet description see description is the appearance of the tablet how it appears it is a part of coa and many times regulatory inquiries are coming for the tablet description so i will go one by one shape shape to be included what what is the shape of your tablet either it is round it is oval modified oval oblong capsule shape square almond shape whatever the shape uh, is there that is to be included then color color to be included and mainly the tablet color depends on the composition of the core tablet uh, if the tablet is uncoated and if it is film coated then the uh, color of the film coating will give the specific color to the tablet that to, that is to be included in the description then size size include dimensions like if it is round it will include uh, 
diameter if it is uh, other shape like oval capsule or square then two uh, dimensions will be there like length and width so these are the tooling dependent dimensions then debossing see here two terminologies are there debossing and embossing in the figure you can see the emboss is the uh, there and deboss is there so whenever you are using embossed punches embossed tooling that time the tablet will always have a debossed surface so we have to write debossing many people get uh, confused in this as you are so you please remember this try to understand these terminologies your punches are embossed that's why the embossed punches will give debossed tablets then printing uh, details to be included in the description if printing is on one side then it should be included and uh, other side is plain we can mention also include the color of the print ink suppose printed uh, in black or printed in uh, green or gray something like that then coating information is to be given whether it is the uh, whether the tablet is coated or film coated uncoated like this information we have to give then very important thing break line or score line information is to be given like uh, earlier slides we have studied that two break line or bisect or trisect like this information is to be given then sometime some companies are uh, debossing the tablets with their logo or name of the product or company name so that in information can be given uh the names and codes and all these things are the uh, uh, manufacturer dependent things there is no specific guideline the debossing is done based on the tablet uh, size uh, and the uh, market identification uh, requirement sometimes the product name is also included in the description then for giving a particular tablet description always check and study the reference product description from pil and label so that you will be able to give the description of the generic product or test product similar on the similar line to the reference product but if there there is difference in the shape or size then those things can be included in the test product then different strength of the same formulation should have specific differences in the description like uh, four four or six strengths are there so the coating or embossing on the tooling should be specific as per the strength to avoid the uh, confusion between the strengths many times regulatory authorities have inquiry inquires uh, or they have queries on the description so it becomes important to have the proper description of the tablets so i think uh, this is much about the tablet description and after watching this video you will be able to give the proper description to the tablets so thanks for watching the video uh keep on watching the uh, upcoming videos on capsule description and many more thank you